How are you doing guys? It's Big Mike Danscore here again today on day number 25 of October. Uh, as you can see in front of you, um, I've managed to shake off the hobby burn and um, I am back on the hobby horse, so to speak. Um, yeah, so I've got my Gorkonaut in front of me that I'm building. Uh, give it a little twist there. It's a very messy workspace in front of you. I don't know if you noticed, probably did. Um, your eyes are probably offended by the sight of it. Um, but yeah, so I've got my um, Deathstorm Mega Shooter here with my bike attached, which is going to be where the boy sits. Um, I don't know where the boy is at the moment, so we can stay wherever he is. Um, I put on a half a plastic shot glass as a shoulder plate, but uh, what I'm probably going to do, I'll just take this off if I can. Wait. So yeah, I'm probably going to try and make a shoulder pad like this rather than so we can get that to there we go yeah so what i've done i've trimmed this one down and put part of the shot glass underneath so it's a lot shorter uh, and that way i can reposition the arm if i want um so i've also glued together the the best part of the arm uh the right arm that is uh, which is his claw arm let's just shove him into the middle and then you can see so then it's going to be at that sort of angle um, but what i want to be able to do is have it in a couple of poses um, so when i attach it it'll probably be um you know just two poses would probably be enough one down here like that um i had a bit of trouble at first i i was going to position it there like that but then the door when it opens wouldn't have opened so what i did i just uh, trimmed off this at an angle so then it's like that uh, but then if i put a full half shot glass across this would probably hit the top of it um so that's why or that's part of the reason why and also another part of the reason is it's like layered layered shoulder pads are sort of uh, what the gorkonaut actually has i'll just show you the actual one i, uh, I can't reach it there we go so there's the actual gorkonaut and if you look at his shoulder pad there um, he's got a couple of layers on there. It's not just one. Actually, no, it is just one. Um, he's just got a shoulder joint as well. But it gives it the impression that it's... Oh, no, this one's got a couple of layers on there. So it's like one layer layer, sheet, layer of metal and then another one underneath. Um, so that's the sort of effect I'm going for with this type of shoulder pad down here. Um, yeah, so then that'll be there like that as a, one of the poses. And then I'll raise it up like that as well. Probably uh, I'll raise it up like that when it's uh, when it's on display, sort of thing. Um, tell you what, I'll pop this back in here. Do, 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 do. Uh, those eagle eyed amongst you as well. I always say those eagle eyed amongst you, but yeah, those eagle eyed amongst you will notice I put a magnet in there um, and I put basically a, a bottle top, I glued the tube onto a bottle top here and then bent a part of the bottle top so it sits in the right position, it doesn't spin round or anything. Um, yeah, so. There we go, and let's put his head on. Do, 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 do. And then his arm, there, something like that. So that's going to be, you know, sort of the view from the front. Um, what I'll probably do as well, because um, he's uh, this Gorkonaut, the actual one. Let's pull him in again. Uh, if you notice on his power claw arm there, he's got the big shooters on the arm. Um, Mine, I might go for the rockets on the arm, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, he's got the big shooters on the arm. And uh, what I'll do is just put a little gun platform above the arm there, bulk it out a little bit. And uh, also, I might get some um, some eye beams and just um, put them along there so it looks like it's uh, structurally more sound than, than it does at the moment. It looks kind of weedy at the moment for a Gorkonaut. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. And I hope you enjoy my progress. Um, the uh, the front as well, um, I've mentioned this before, I think I'm probably going to do some kind of a, a death skull uh, icon on the front. Um, what I'll have to do is just build it up probably and then cut it right down the middle and then uh, make sure the, obviously the drop pod doors can open. Um, yeah, that's everything I've got for you so far. Oh, as well, um, this guy, one thing I've noticed uh, since I've been playing around with him, he doesn't actually have a flamer on him, he should have a flamer here. Um, but uh, the gentleman who bought it off on eBay, he's just put a light on there. Uh, it doesn't bother me that much, but um, yeah, basically they normally have a chest weapon there. 
and uh, on the Morka notes, um, it's a melter gun, not a melter gun, a custom mega blaster. Um, so they have the custom mega shooter on the gun arm and a custom mega blaster on the chest. But what I was thinking, uh, from the looters kit, the looters and burners kit, you get a custom mega blaster holding mech in there. Um, so I was thinking I'd take the gun from that, just put it on this guy up top, um, and then it's a nice simple solution. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching, and I will see you on the battlefield.